Today's show is brought to you by ExpressVPN. Ladies and gentlemen, we've all been on the internet. We've all been on the internet thinking, well, no one's going to know what I'm doing here. No one's going to know what I'm searching for. I'm just going to jump into incognito mode. Well, guess what? Incognito mode does not hide your activity. It doesn't matter what mode you use or how many times you clear that browsing history. Your internet service provider can still see every single website you've ever visited. That's why when you're at home or wherever you're going on the internet, do not go online without using ExpressVPN. Like I said, it doesn't matter who your internet service provider is. ISPs in the U.S. can legally sell your information to ad companies. ExpressVPN is an app that reroutes your internet connection through their secure servers so your ISP can't see the sites you're visiting. ExpressVPN also keeps all your information secure by encrypting 100% of your data with the most powerful encryption available. Most of the time, I don't even realize I have ExpressVPN on. It runs seamlessly in the background. It's so easy to use. All you have to do is tap one button and you are protected. Protect your online activity today with the VPN rated number one by Business Insider. Visit our exclusive link, expressvpn.com slash ballers, and you can get an extra three months free on a one-year package. That's expressvpn.com slash ballers. Expressvpn.com slash ballers to learn more. What happens when three buffoons give life advice, explore unrealistic situations, and give random topics more thought than they probably deserve? It's the Spitballers Podcast with Andy, Mike, and Jason. (laughs) Oh, man. What a cop out. Yeah, baby. We did it. Yeah. We we have finally hit that point of the Spitballers podcast where the show opened with just fart sounds. It's the fart episode, and I'm <sighs> happy it was my scat. Wow. And I do mean scat. I feel like Mike's laughter was the most redeeming part of the scat. Oh, thank you, Mike. It, well, it, it caught me off guard, so you got plus one. Welcome into the Spitballers podcast. Also, for for those tuning in to the video, we got to get right into this. What is going on with Jason's cup? It, He's got a huge <laughs> cup. It is, it's, <laughs> it is a big old size neon green cup. What, what are you doing? It does look ridiculous. <laughs> okay, I didn't think this was getting called out, but it is ridiculous. It's... I it's, mean, how much water does one person need? He's up in his water I, intake. I am trying to drink a gallon of water a day. Well, it's right there. No, yeah, I need just five of these. <laughs> five of these is a gallon. No. How yes. Far, I mean, it's uh, it's about one in the afternoon. How far? This is cup four. Oh, it is. This is yes. You I only have finished get, three of these. Wow. How I are have, you in that seat and not? We're peeing? gonna have a pee I break. Have, I would, dude. I have peed at least six times, and that is. Let me just tell you. A clear. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I'm doing real well, fellas. <laughs> is this the first day of a uh, gallon a day? This is the first day. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How yeah. many How many days is this going to run? <clears throat> at least one. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm hoping to make it to two tomorrow. The next day, I'll be like, man, let's get to three. But I'm now going this, today. This isn't because you think if you drink a gallon a day for a while, you won't have to drink for a couple months or something. Wait, right? I don't get to store this up? <laughs> you knew you're not a camel. Um, yes, I am aware. <laughs> okay. I'm aware. Try well, to, you know, look. Try well, to be the, healthy. The big then cup will get you donuts. there. That's a big cup. That's a big cup. Welcome to the big cup episode of the Spitballers. Would you rather man of the people? And we are drafting the best ways to cover up a fart. Which is why you scattered the way that you did. Yeah. He just took another sip. <laughs> Well, he's I mean, gotta, if he's going to drink all of that, he's going to have to sip My goal very is to rapidly. finish this cup by the end of this episode. Without audibly letting the listener know. <laughs> <Gulp. Yeah. laughs> and without peeing my pants, which okay. that I'm confident I can uh, silently Do drink one of this them? water, but I'm not confident about keeping it in. Thank you for joining us on this show today. This is episode 231 of the podcast you can follow the show on twitter at spitballers pod instagram.com slash spitballers pod and we appreciate you subscribing following the show on apple Podcasts, spotify wherever you're listening watching on youtube let's get it going (laughs) 
Would you rather? Dwerick from the website. Not Derek, but Dwerick. Okay. Okay. Sure. Uh, would you rather have to chew all food with your mouth open? Okay. That's gross. Or do a three-second <laughs> gargle of every drink that oh, you take. That oh, would be... No. Here it comes. Oh, no. Here it no. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Delicious. <laughs> um, that was unplanned. This is great. Uh, yeah, you, you brought your big cup so we could experiment <laughs> on these type of things. The gargle's gross. They're both I mean, gross. mixed company for either is, of these. Gargle is not as gross as chewing with your mouth open. I mean, I just gargled. I don't feel like either of you were grossed out. You might not have enjoyed it or wanted it, but like chewing with your mouth open is it's it's you're Kid? watching the digestive system process you too are. closely. Can you chew with your mouth open? And not make the all the smacking sounds because like when you're trying to bother someone, no. you do the mum mum. But can you just could you get a a, a good chew without all the slobbering I, and smacking? I don't think so. I think the only thing that keeps the sound away is the closure of the lips. You you seal off that room that this action's happening in. So it's the soundproof mouth. That's the soundproof <laughs> lips. Are what are what it keeps you steady. Otherwise, I mean, at the very least, if you were going to try to silently chew with your mouth open. Your lips can't come together and then go back. That's pretty gross. I put yourself though in the bar scenario. Like you're you're uh, at an event, maybe you're at a cocktail hour and you have a drink and you're I mean you're in close company. This we have a little distance here mm -hmm. where we're less grossed out because when you gargle, you there's projectile potential. Yeah, yeah that's true. And like a like You're a, not going to be able to, and they'll be like, "Take a sip of your drink." You can like turn a it into fine the, whiskey. <laughs> you oh, oh, are you always making oh. like sommelier com comments about yes. what you're drinking? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> ah, it's yeah, a I mean, birchy hey, afterbirth. You'd, you'd have to turn it into your thing, you know? Like, right? Like this is something you're proud of. This this drink. Oh man, this drink. Yeah, here, here we go. <laughs> Thank you. And so here's something to weigh. <sighs> You're you're having a a sip of a beverage far more throughout the day than you are actually eating something. So this is yeah, that's every drink you take. It's funny because I thought the opposite. What the reason I am drinking all this water today is because I think I have realized I don't take liquids in. Okay, yeah, like I I I eat all the time. Shocker, um, but. I don't, I you know, I don't, I can go a whole day without, like, having a drink sometimes. What? I think that's a whole, true. No. You, I, a whole day? That's yeah. not good for you. I mean, I'll, I'll have a drink usually with a meal, so I uh, guess even there. But, yeah, I mean, I, I think that there are times I just don't really drink liquid. I have to go, I'm going to do the chew with your mouth open, and all my eating will be in private. <laughs> That's fair. At least you could get away with it. You'll that. have to excuse me. I imagine I, I would, need to use the bathroom. I'll, I will drape like my napkin in front of my face while I'm chewing at a restaurant. So I could still <laughs> so I could still go. Bring like a mask? Yeah, bring like a handkerchief and you tie it on. <laughs> I'm normal. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm gonna gargle every time that I <laughs> Wait, it says a three second yes, gargle. You're not you are not properly weighing the um, three seconds three, plus that's all outrageous of the i felt like i like gargling what i just did right. when i gargled that was that was not a three that, no it wasn't close i don't even know that if was that was like, a full one might have been a one and a quarter it it's certainly three seconds to gargle everything that i didn't realize how long i i guess i'm chewing with my mouth open like a degen yeah I okay agree. stefan from patreon would you rather have all citizens required to take a yearly test of the country's <laughs> history and laws or have a requirement of 20 hours of community service each year. Okay, so, so, we're, so this we're government doing some good here. Yeah, so the government is is put into place uh it reminds me of like when you're a real estate agent you got to do your yearly test mm -hmm. to stay up to date now. Continuing education. Continuing education and you got to do your continuing you got to do your contribution every I, year to get what? I need an update though maintain citizenship okay so should you fail yeah oh that's good because i got uh, what a yearly test 
okay, you just show up and you take the test. Who cares? Is it just so that we have the information for like a census type of a thing? But or or is there could there be a consequence should you not get a sixty percent? That is everything in this question because if the question is just citizens have to take a test, who cares? So what? You know what I mean? Like oh, I got an F as again. opposed to having to pass the test. Having to pass the test is a whole. This is different- like a driver's license, right? Like pretend. They make you come and do a driving test every year. They're going to take your license away. Okay, so they take my citizenship away if I don't know the history of our country and some important laws. You might get a redo once before they put you, I don't know, on a boat or something and send you out to sea. (laughs) I like my citizenship, and I would have that go bye-bye. How you would study. You You would study. How confident are you guys if you took a generic... Uh, citizenship test like do you know <sighs> things like how many congressmen are there uh the the in the house or the senate yeah e- either the uh, house. senate's 100 well, yeah. all right you do the other right, one that, house is 250 something i think like I, I think if we if you give me multiple choice i think i can get there um it's 535 total say nope i was way off <laughs> so it, it's 435 in the house 435 100 in the senate since when <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I've always heard that, like, when you are um, immigrating into America, the right. test that you take for your citizenship. Oh, we would all fail that. Yeah, I was going to say, you have to learn a lot. Now, we, we wouldn't have failed it when we were learning it in sixth grade. Maybe. Right. Maybe. Well, yeah. I mean, that's when we knew it, but you do forget a lot. And this would make you not only memorize that, but the laws. So I guess you, I'm looking at these as saying, okay, the 20 hours of community service helps others. Yeah. The country's history and laws, I'm trying to figure out how that helps others. And I guess having an uh, an idea of the laws would benefit society if everybody knew them. I think okay. it would be it would be a tremendous help to, yeah. to really know the history, really know the laws. I think you improve society that way. But if everyone has to do a real 20 hours and not the fake 20 hours of uh, right, right. My, my buddy's parents, they, they work at the Y, just go ahead and sign off on this. No, like real 20 hours, a lot of good would be done. It's funny because we give so many tax credits and loopholes and financial incentives and subsidies and credits for electric vehicles. And we don't have any of that thing, any of those things in place where like, obviously this question says you have to do one of them. But what if this was just an option? What if like 20 hours of community service lowered your tax bracket? Ooh. Ooh. Like, okay. And it's optional. I am in. It's optional because what? Sure. Money money talks, right? Yeah. But like, go help your fellow man yeah. and we'll pay you for yeah, it. That actually Just makes a, a lot of a tax sense. Credit. That that makes actual, logical, helpful sense. But we don't so, do that. Well, that's why. That's why we that's why we <laughs> don't do it. That makes far too much sense. Um I'm for both of these things. Follow up question. How many amendments are in the Constitution? Oh, my goodness. I'm going to say somewhere between 19 and 25. Okay. <sighs> that's this not, is, that's a range, but okay. 19 to 25. What are we on highway I'm to gonna spell? Guess, I guess I'll just ga- guess 19. Okay. But I feel like there's 20. 20 25. I'm going to guess 25. Okay, 25. <laughs> <laughs> so I will go 24. And Price is Right rules. It's 27. Andy oh, takes it. Oh, very nice. Okay. Um, I know a few of them. So if you have to choose one, though, you you, you have to choose it. Your favorite amendment. Which one do you think would be <laughs> more? I I was <laughs> I was right there with you. Which one Which one would you choose for? I'm going the, 20, the citizens of the country. I'm going twenty hours, twenty hours of of community service for everybody. Jason, I think that would make a more actionable difference. In, in the end, I. I I believe that good is done with that and with the test and the knowledge, I think you hope that people can be wiser and I don't think they will be. All right. uh, Chrissy from Twitter, would you rather dream vividly every night? Oh, heck yeah. But have all the memories forgotten by morning? (laughs) Okay, so (laughs) that just ruins it. What a roller coaster. Doesn't let me finish the sentence. Or uh, have an... Uh, an average dream that you remember for the rest of the day. I mean, I don't know how you you have to pick an average dream. You almost you have sure? to. I, here's here's my rationale for that. There are literal. There's a medication you can take 
where you are going to forget the medical procedure you have, you know, so that you, you know, the twilight sleep. Yeah, type of, exactly. Type of so because you need to be cognizant for the surgery. And so you can go in and have surgery done and it could be the most horrific thing and you just don't know about it. And as soon as as soon as that medication kicks in and you don't know about it, it never happened. You're it's just it didn't happen. There was it's worthless. There's no point in it. Uh, let me put it this way. Is a good time forgotten a good time? That is an excellent question, and I think it is. Okay. I, I think that if you, in the moment, are having a good time, because, okay, here's here's my question, because uh, a, a lot of times, you know, for people who, who actually have dreams, you wake up and you're just emotionally set in a direction. You don't necessarily remember what happened. Okay. But you Subconscious. do. But if you had a good dream, you you wake up, you're like, I had a good dream. And that like that was, you know, I won two million dollars. You're saying your mood's gonna be you your mood is can be affected absolutely by dreams where you know, you wake up, you had a a, a bad dream, you you wake up in a panic, your your heart rate is up. So I mean your your the physiology of your body has changed. From the dream, even if you don't remember it, and if you had, see, you I know, feel like this just begs. You'd be excited to go to sleep every night. It begs a much broader question, which is like, you get to live a an amazing life, but then you forget it, right at the end, <laughs> or you live a horrible life, but you get to remember it. Which would you choose? You're 75, and that's the moment it happens. Like. Oh, man. Do you want to remember a bad yeah. life, or do you want to have a good one you don't remember? You want to remember. Otherwise, it didn't happen. I mean, you say, Mike, you are excited to go to sleep. No, you're not. You don't know you have them. You don't know you have those great dreams. I know. I know I have them. I just don't remember what they are. But how do you know that you're not having them right now? How do you Ooh. How do you know that every single night lately you haven't had this the best is, dream of all time? Because be it story. didn't happen. Maybe it did. It okay. doesn't matter to you because <laughs> it didn't happen because you can't remember it. Our our it's life fair, experience I mean, is just memory. Now, but now but you're now you're just walking into what is actually real. What <laughs> is life? I mean, like, yeah, like okay, yes. What I don't is real? I don't remember that I had a good dream last night. Did I just wake up today? And everything is just like it's an implant of memories that uh, that were put there. I is there awake? Is <laughs> there not awake? So. In this, I'm I'm choosing to believe that in this scenario, I know that there is a a very vivid, excellent dream that that I am a part of, and I know that that's going to happen, I and I know that in the moment I will be really enjoying it. I wake up, I won't I won't recall what exactly what happened, but I'll be like, I know something good happened. I would choose that <laughs> option for all of my friends and family, so that I don't have to hear about their dreams. <laughs> Yes. Oh, dude. Yes. 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 There's oh. nothing worse. And and we've all oh. been the sharer, too. We've all oh. been like, no, oh. no, no, no. This no, one you so got. It's so real to me. Yeah. Oh, no. The, no. Th that is the worst. Nobody wants to hear about your dreams. <laughs> no. I, I am like, not. I want to hear I'm going to put my wife dreams. on blast right now. You can just I'm going to share. Put put my wife in this uh, as well. Okay. And I always finish everyone with cool this, story, bro. This. <laughs> me, too. This morning, <laughs> she goes. And she wanted full attention for the recitation of the dream. <laughs> she said, I had this dream. And Mike, it, believe it or not, you you and your wife were in the dream. Okay. And she said it was like the apocalypse and there was a zombie attack. And we were all going into like some big safe house. I had the right people. And she goes, and all I could think about in the dream is whether or not we have enough dog food. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the whole dream. I it had. wasn't the zombies. It was whether there was hey, enough dog food just for be, the dogs. Just be happy that that all my wife dreams is that I've cheated on her. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and, and then I'm and then I'm a bad guy. I'm like I didn't do anything. I went to sleep. I, Those are so funny. I just had the the dream conversation where I was I was already up for the morning. You know, in a, I'm already I'm already in go mode. Like I've been the, the wife asleep again. I've had my coffee. I'm starting my weekend stuff, which is you know pick up around the house, find jobs to do. And she wakes up and she's trying to, she's telling me about this dream. And I'm like, and it like, there was a, there was a slight pause. And I took that as 
this is the end. Oh, so, no. <laughs> so, oh, no. So I left the room, <laughs> and she's like, yes. you, she's yes, like, she's you, like, you get, back, she's like, get back here. So you, 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 you don't want to hear the rest of my dream? And I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the the leaving a room in the middle of a thought when you think it's over. Oh. I've done that before on other you things. You creep out it's, like the Pink Panther. I just, mean, I thought it... you were done. <laughs> just getting the it's chores like, started. You may not have been done, but I was done. <laughs> <laughs> that begs the question. No, I think that was the. That's all you dreamt. I think <laughs> that begs the question. When was the Constitution written? Ooh, what year? We're back to this. Yeah, this is not well, the Declaration of Independence. Correct. The Constitution. Written. Uh, so. 1807. Okay. 1803. <laughs> that much later? I'm going I'm going in the 1700s. I'm going to go 1800s. I'm going to go 1784. Oh, 1787. Oh, Ooh, man. You are nice. so close. We're so close to staying in the country. That's what I'm saying. Multiple choice. Oh, yeah. I Multiple choice there. will smash. <laughs> if it's like a paragraph for every answer, we're in trouble. All right. Let's move on. Hey, Spitwads, I want to tell you about the new bedding brand that we discovered a little while back, and I can genuinely tell you it has transformed my sleep. It's my sheets rock. Their sheets keep you so cool while you sleep. You'll sleep better than ever. I have personally gone to my friends and family and told them they have to try these sheets out. Uh, once we put them on our bed, we bought another set immediately. Um, it's an amazing product. My Sheets Rock created the regulator sheets, which are designed specifically to keep hot sleepers cool, cold sleepers comfortable. They regulate temperature. They wick moisture. They stay breathable. And really, they're insanely soft. It, it messes with my mind how soft they are. And uh, I love them. I've been using them. My wife loves them. And uh, we had to buy them uh, for our kids as well. So don't believe me. Their five-star customer reviews speak for themselves. Plus, they offer a 90-day risk-free trial and free shipping on returns. Uh, check out My Sheets Rock at MySheetsRock.com slash ballers and enter our code BALLERS for 10% off and free shipping. That's MySheetsRock.com slash BALLERS, code BALLERS. <laughs> Man of the people. All right, we are uh, back with Man <sighs> of me, the People. Let me make some space over here. We'll let Al explain the game again. Yeah. He's so good at it. Sure. Yeah, we surveyed 100 people. Top five answers are on the board. Uh, you get three points if you get the first answer, two points if you get the second answer, one point if you get any other answer. We're doing seven rounds. Final round is worth double the points. Bring it. We've Ooh. got our buttons here, which are always really good for the – you know, the audio podcast. They're good. They, they, they're playing along at home. All right. Hands on go. the table. Hands All on the right. table. Round one, gentlemen. Name a decision that people do not make lightly. Uh, marriage. That is the number one answer. Dang it. That was my answer. <laughs> that was my Keep answer. Keep an eye on those buttons. <laughs> I will reset them. College. <laughs> Ooh. College is not on the board. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, I'm very disappointed in that. Man, I'm going to go job. That is the number five answer. So you get one point for that. Wow. Mike, Mike with three. School, Jason. Schooling was not on the board. Are we not going to school anymore? Oh, we uh, just don't apparently not. care a lot. We just make that <laughs> decision. Just go. We got marriage. We got divorce. We got buying a house, oh, having children, house. and a job. Wait, a house is above children? <laughs> it is. I'm going <laughs> to think a little bit more about this one. <laughs> If you reversed it, you'd get a better house. <laughs> yeah. All right. I didn't want any points anyway. Move on. All right. Round two. During your morning routine, name something you'd hate to discover wasn't working. Uh, <laughs> the, the coffee machine. Chase, <laughs> Jason had no answer. I think he just slapped the button. I had an answer I can't say. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right, Mike. You got the number two answer with coffee maker. Okay. I'll take it. Keep an eye on those <laughs> buttons. Keep your mind out of the gutter. Here we go. I will go with the water is off. The water's not working. The shower is the number one answer. Oh. I'm going to give you that. All yep. Right. Yeah. Really? All right. Man. Jason, uh, you got an answer for yeah, us? Yeah, I'm going to go uh, uh, electricity. So my alarm <laughs> clock didn't go off. Oh, electricity's not on there, but alarm clock is. So you get one okay. point for that. So wait. Yes. Yeah. Mm. That's okay. That was that was the reason yeah. for it. Was, yeah. Oh, no. Mike is clock. the fastest buzzer here. <laughs> yeah. I gave him the good one. 
All, All right, right, guys. Round three. Name something someone might eat in the hospital. Jello. Oh, that's oh, such that's, a good yeah, answer. It. it is the number one answer. Oh, man. Oh. You got to get that jello. All right. Keep an eye on those buttons. Fruit. Fruit is not on the board. What? No, I didn't think so. Yeah. In the hospital? In the I didn't hosp- think so yeah. when I heard it. All right. I will go mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes is not on the board. I bet that's not on the board either. All right, Mr. Okay. Hospital, give us the list, Andy. Pudding. Yes. Wait, that's different than Jello. Yes, <laughs> it is. Okay. You want to keep going? Yeah. Uh, um, sandwich. Oh, boy. No, I just All have right, pudding we got and Jello. In order, we got Jello, soup, ice cream, pudding, applesauce. Oh, that makes sense. That's why I went mashed potatoes. Soup makes because sense. Because it was all, can you gum this food or drink <laughs> this food? Like, they- Yeah, and I went fruit because, you know, it's healthy. Not not part of a hospital. <laughs> you diet. ever been to a hospital food court? They have some great food, but it's they all fried. They do. They really do. Their cafeterias are always I great. I love it when my friends get sick so I can go down there <laughs> yep. and grab and a it's bite. Cheap. It's cheap. I, I don't know. check in on them, but I've got an excuse. <laughs> it's yeah. cheap. I'll go say hi, and I'll be like, you know what? I'll come back in a minute. You get some rest. You want anything from the uh, cafeteria? (laughs) That's right. That's right. The hospital. It is cheap, by the way. Yeah, yeah, because because the hospital is just super expensive. They're like, we'll give them a little bit of a deal on the food, so when the bill shows up, they're not as mad. We build it three dollar lunch and a thirty six thousand dollar (laughs) surgery. Yeah. All right, through three rounds, we got in. Yeah, I said rounds. I got it. (laughs) We got Andy with six, Mike with five, Jason with two. All right, nonsense. Fruit. All right, round four. Name something in a regular house that might be missing in a bachelor pad. Mm. Oh, crap. Uh, oh, Mr. Quick three, Draw. Three, uh, two. Bed frame. <laughs> <laughs> hey, furniture is the number one answer. You got it. Oh, yeah, my baby. Goodness. Yeah? Oh, oh it, bed frame. Okay, I get what you're Wait, going. Wait, I don't yeah. understand. I get you where mat- you're going. Mattress is just on the They're ground. They're just on the floor. Did you, did you like... I get it. Did you when, when you college, lived by yourself? When I lived by myself, I, my mattress was just on the ground. Yeah, when I lived by myself, my mattress. I went. My mattress is, was on the ground. I had like the fake frame. It was not elevated. Yeah, <laughs> it, it was just a mattress that kind of had a border around it. Okay, but it was on the ground. Okay, are we? Was that legal? That yeah, was can legal. You, you got to keep an eye on those buttons. Yes. I was gonna say uh, this is not at a bachelor pad, right? Right, might be missing from a bachelor. Yeah, I must say food. Number mm. two answer. Okay. That was a good answer. Oh, that was my only other answer. Uh, repeat the question, please. <laughs> Name something in a regular house that might be missing in a bachelor pad. Three, two, <laughs> one. Hygiene products. <laughs> it's a great answer, but it's not on the board. Perfect. That's how I like to we do got it. Furniture, food, decorations, family, and appliances. Family. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. I was trying to think of stuff with the kids. It made sense, but uh, I didn't think of naming the kids. What's funny is I originally heard (laughs) what's in a normal house is not at a bachelor party. And I'm like, I don't even understand how that makes sense. (laughs) That's a different question. All right. Mike and Andy tied with eight. Jason down at two. (laughs) I I got this, guys. You got that last round double points. You're in it. All right. Here we go. What accent might an American pretend to have in order to sound sexier? Oh, you can. No, no, you get. Oh, I have to let it finish before I hit the no, button? He no, he needs to stop reading the second someone buzzes oh, in. Oh, that is true. I should have done that. Yeah. I'm going to reset the buttons. Illegal. Keep an eye on him. Okay. Oh. <laughs> French. Number one answer. Uh, English. Number two answer. Okay. What? <laughs> you got none left? Uh, Three. So this is the only two. answer. Spanish. That is the number four answer. You get one point. Okay. Italian and Australian were the other two on the Australian? Board. I thought about it. I think that's a that's a good really? accent. Really? Yeah. But to sound sexy? All right. I guess Scottish. Chris, I guess. Listen to, I've, I've listened to Chris Hemsworth talk. And it's, yeah. We got Margot Robbie. It's, it's yeah. Good two, day. <laughs> <laughs> now the, not Crocodile <laughs> Dundee, <laughs> but go on. That was so sexy, Mike. Yeah. All right. Through five rounds, we got Andy with 11, Mike with nine, Jason with four. Uh-oh. This is the last round worth normal points, and then we will go into our championship round. Name an activity that could be rained out. Uh, sporting event. Number one answer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just, what? Yeah. You got to get the timing right, my brother. Wedding. Number three answer. That's worth one point. A parade. 
<laughs> <laughs> he laughed at you. <laughs> it's just out of the blue. Uh, that is not on the board. It's literally a phrase. That, what? Don't, don't rain, rain, rain on my parade. Rain, parade. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. That's, but you want to know why it's a phrase? Because they don't stop the parade. It, it, it sucks. It's like, oh, don't rain on my parade. Doesn't get All right, we got sporting oh. event number one, picnic number two, wedding number three, picnic, concert, and barbecue are the next two. Who's, okay, who's right. even going on a picnic? We need to picnic more. We don't picnic enough. We don't, as a people. You guys want to do a picnic company picnic? picnic? No, Brooks, no. you in on that? Nobody no. wants. I'm ready. To, you no to one sit in a pile of ants because no one wants to do all this food preparation, then travel with the food for multiple miles, and you're like, hey, we've got this. Sort of fresh sandwich here. We got. You want to sit on the ground and yeah, eat yeah. it? We got a lumpy, lumpy hill here. We could sit on. There's certainly no bugs. There'll be, there'll be pickleball though. At oh, a picnic? I'm in. Yeah, I'm in. Okay. Wait. Yeah, he's Is in that, now. Yeah. He's in. Food and pickleball. Come on. We'll hit I the mean, part. I'm, I'm in on that part, but I just that's not. You want to go think. rollerblading, Mike? We can go rollerblading <laughs> at the picnic. <laughs> All right. All right. We are six rounds in. This is the final <laughs> round worth double points. So Things technically. Jason could still win. Oh, yeah. Even though we're sitting with that Andy. That would be such a slap in the face. Andy's got 12. Mike's got nine. Jason is at seven. Final round. Name an occasion for which people return to their hometown. Wedding. That's the number three answer. Uh, no, no. Keep an eye on those buttons. Class <laughs> reunion. Aww. That is the number one answer. Boom! Let's go! Andy, go ahead. <laughs> Family reunion. Wait, isn't that what Mike said? He said class reunion. Oh, it just says reunion. Yeah. Is oh, the number one answer. Makes okay. sense. Okay. You Wait. can try again. So I'll give you the <laughs> eh, eh. <laughs> Yeah, already been said. So he got all uh, he gets both of those? I, yep. I, I, I got Please it. repeat the question. <laughs> Name an occasion for which people return to their hometown. Um three. Two. Parents one. retirement. <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess. Family, family. <laughs> uh, Come on. We, we got reunion at number yes. one, Christmas at number two, oh. wedding at number three, funeral at number four, and a birthday for number five. Mike is our Woo! big man of the people. <laughs> Class reunion, my butt. I know that meant family reunion. Nope. I don't think it did. All right, we are moving on. <laughs> The Spitballers Draft. I can't confirm it, but I think that um, I think that's the story of Man of the People for me in every single one of these. <laughs> I think I'm always end. up until the final question. All and, right. And to be fair, now that we've heard it, Christmas is a very obvious answer. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, that makes does. sense. And it wasn't even like it was not on my anywhere list. Like I knew funeral would be on there. That wasn't there. Now, before we get to this great draft, I just have a question. Who was president during <laughs> World War One? World War One, f- uh, no, not Franklin. No, he was two. Truman. No, That's I'm not later, going, right? I'm not going. Tr- wait, oh, I he was right around Truman. that. It could be. That was around the same time. I, for some reason, I can't remember which. Was. So Franklin was World War Two. Two, yeah, because uh, he gave the Pearl Harbor speech. World War One. I'm gonna go with Truman. Oh, Mike, I Harry S. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's uh, that's what he had. I'm gonna go with Woodrow Wilson. Oh, oh whoa, Woodrow. Good old Woody. Uh, Woody. That's um. Yeah. Okay. We're let's draft. We know our stuff. We're drafting. Um. That was uh. Well, let me see here for a second. That would be Harry S. Truman, <laughs> Harry, yeah. Harry S. Yeah. Um, Look, I've heard stands his... for uh, nothing. It was a compromise of his last name of Wait, his what? grandfather's. Did not stand for any name. The, the S, the S was in there. It's like Brooks. His grand no, because his grandfathers were Anderson Ship Truman and Solomon Young, and they wanted to put the S in there for honoring huh. both of them. I mean, I've I've heard that name countless times, but never like that. No, no. <laughs> Into the draft. <laughs> <sighs> what do you got, Jay? <laughs> we are drafting the best ways to cover up a fart. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see here. So I get the. Fr- this is not a great draft to have the first pick. But you you do have more. I, I would say experience with this one. 
I do have uh, some experience with this. I'm going to go with one that was – look, this might be the 101 uh, in the draft, but it was like the last one I could even think of. I'm scratching. I'm clawing. I'm just trying to build this list. I've never tried it out. But I think if you fart into a pillow, you are <laughs> safe. So oh, take your seat. Total totally sound w- absorption. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that would. Look. I think you're gonna even have some smell absorption can I, there. Can sit I sit on ask- a pillow? Let her rip. Okay. All right. Let me ask a question related to farts because that's important. Obviously, you've been sitting when you need to let one rip. Most mm-hmm. often, mm-hmm. I've and been known to be a walker let, though. Let, <laughs> I, I, uh, you, you, yeah, you're more of an everyman in every situation, but. When you do the lean onto one cheek, sure. Can other people tell? <laughs> I, think, I always I, think I get away with it, but I, I just want to know: Can anybody tell that I'm leaning up a little bit on one side, and what I might be doing? No, because you you could just be you know like adjusting your back. Like it's that's why you, you do a rock. If you if you you go one way and then quickly shift post uh, okay. fartus, mm-hmm. and then you post fartus, yeah, yeah, then you're good. All right, I will go with uh, Jason went with farting into a pillow as the best way to cover up a fart. I'm going to go with a sneeze. Oh, now, yes. Now, there are two ways to cover it up. There is the sound, there is the smell, and maybe the pillow does a little of both <laughs> until the next person puts their head mm-hmm. on that pillow. But I'm going to go with the sneeze, the well-timed sneeze. Okay. You will get someone to say, God bless you, about your fart. Yeah. Sometimes the sneeze <laughs> is the cause. <laughs> Ooh, for yes. you? Yeah. I've had that happen yeah. before. That's true. <laughs> yep, exactly. That's you. Wow. I didn't know it could be the cause. Oh, yeah. A, a real we, power sneeze. You ever seen the chiropractic? Uh, like, I've, there's a lot of videos that go around yes. where people are getting their backs adjusted mm-hmm. and stuff. And then sometimes that is a cause. I mean, it's the same idea of, of your, you're putting pressure on the torso. Yeah. You just squeeze have one out. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> Harry S. Truman. <laughs> The Mike, president two, during president. World War One. I. I don't. When was he president? In the, during World War One, that would have been thirties, uh, maybe. It, no, no, that's in the Woodrow 10s. Wilson was the answer. Or Woodrow. No, was, but when was Harry S. Truman the president? Truman was after, just probably. Yeah, thirties. No, because because uh, when was the, late thirties was World War Two and like the when was the Great Depression? Forty-five to fifty-three 29. is when Truman served. Oh, really? I'm thinking of Hoover. Oh, uh, that Hoover. All right, Mike, two picks. All right. Best uh, way to cover up a fart. I I feel like the it's 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 boring. It's vanilla, it's plain Jane, but uh, it uh, kind of like a sneeze but it's like the cough. The mm-hmm. cough is is got to be the go-to. <laughs> if, if, <laughs> Don't mind if, me. If you're in a, a crowded situation, should you be able to cough loud enough? And that if you can time up a sneeze, that works, but you can't do a fake sneeze. A fake cough much easier to replicate than than a fake sneeze. Fake sneeze looks pretty fake. Uh, 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 achoo! You, you just keep winding up because you're not ready for the fart. Ah, uh, ah! Uh, uh, it's coming. Ah, uh, any any moment. Uh, oh, I thought I had to sneeze. Uh, uh, achoo! <laughs> All right, Mike, you have cough, and uh, what's your second pick? And uh, for this one, it's. It blew my mind. Uh, we, we learned so much uh, on this fine podcast. I learned, I learned about the cheek spread. Yes, oh, it's <laughs> on, on this, my list on this show, in which I've wait. If you spread them, then it, 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 it comes like, out quiet. It's like a silence because you're it's a silencer. silencer. <laughs> well, like I mean, think about you know it, when you have uh, pressure being forced through a narrow gap, it's gonna create a sound how do you pull that one off i mean you, well like, you got to do the lean <laughs> well i was oh you get your hand down there though I'm, yeah, imagine, oh, yeah. I'm imagining myself this is like a conversation so maybe i have uh a, a an itch on both of my butt cheeks at the exact same time <laughs> so you're going <laughs> that's double not hand. awkward at L- all listen mike uh, pro move you only need one hand <laughs> you don't oh, need, really yes you just, <laughs> yes you can one cheek can he, solve the problem. I feel like he's doing you, a double. I feel like if you just go one cheek, you're you are taking on some risk. You are taking on some risk. That <laughs> but you're is also true. not grabbing I have, both your I have, cheeks. I have failed before, but it's got a ninety percent <laughs> success rate with one cheek spread. 
to be silent. But then you're right, because if you're expecting silent, it's like, oh, no, that didn't uh, pull far enough there. Wow. Um, cheek spread silencer. Okay, my pick here in the second round is going to be turning up the TV. Oh. I'm going to turn up the TV. And I can say this as well. And turn it, it up. It kind of mixes in, and I just want to share this. I have definitely been in the middle of the movie theater waiting for the action scene. <laughs> waiting. They got some quiet dialogue, and I'm like, please, please blow something up. <laughs> please because set off a bomb. bomb. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but no, in the in the <laughs> confides of my own home, mm -hmm. I think you turn the TV up a little bit. Right. And you wait for the action scene. Yes. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so, I think the classiest way and the most effective way where no one would know is you preempt your fart with a big old fake fart noise. <laughs> you just a go little misdirection. a little misdirection. It's too on point. You just give them a good, you know, with your tongue, let everybody see it and just let it go right in the middle. Nobody can hear it or cover, distinguish it. Cover a fart with a fart. Cover a fart with a fart. It's, it's genius. This is life changing. How could it go wrong? Oh, that's so good. Well, let me tell you how it goes wrong. <laughs> look, look what I can do. It smells. That's how it goes wrong. So we need or, something here. Or to someone's like, how did you do that? <laughs> yeah, they heard like this how harmonizing. We're like, how did you fake fart and make it smell? <laughs> Right, very impressive. Magician. Please brush your teeth. Um, no, uh, so I'm going to make the fart noise <laughs> while I make the fart noise, and I'm going to light a match at the same time to cover up the smell. <laughs> okay? So I'm... I'm I've got this, all my... Is this all, one pick or two no, picks? No, these are two picks. These are two picks oh, to cover up the smell. I'm going to light a match. That's just fun. People like to light matches. No, but, they don't. Oh, I love to light matches. I mean, it's yes, I like my... lighting it, but not like casual conversations. Yeah, I just got a little pull... pack of matches in Check my pocket. Check this out. Check this out. <laughs> and then light the match. No one knows you oh, are. Oh, it's like a gag together. Yeah, it's like, exactly. look at my fake fart. Look, now. look at what this uh, match sounds like. It sounds like this. <laughs> and then... <laughs> And then you blow it out. No one can. Wow. No one can hear it. No one can smell it. You're in the clear. Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> we've all been we've all been down the road where sometimes you know you're gonna have a gassy night. Yep. Mm -hmm. Sometimes yeah. it's not just sneaking one out. Sometimes it's like tonight's tonight is set up for multiple hours, and those are the nights I like to microwave some salmon. I like to <laughs> oh, cook up some fish yes. in the house. <laughs> Because I can go where I can fart anywhere I want to fart. Because mm -hmm. you're not smelling nothing but that fish. That's a great idea. I'm cooking That's up some fish in the old microwave. That's a great idea. You know, make some Brussels sprouts. Yeah. Put some salmon. Put some, some salmon on. Ooh, anybody there. else want fish? I'll be in the kitchen. <laughs> All right, Mike, you get to. That's that's a tremendous <laughs> answer. Um, I am gonna go. So this one would work especially good for our personnel because I know what Jason's reaction would be. Mm. But should I scream spider? Oh, gosh, I'm gone. Really oh. just reel out with a point. They're running away from you. I see uh, people are either going to run or they're going <laughs> to they're going to turn. Maybe there's someone in the in the crowd that will shriek. And at that point, I slip through. Wow. As, as it would be. And I've, I've alerted, I've misdirected people yeah. and put them. That's almost put, like got them a little scared. It's like pulling the fire alarm. <laughs> yeah. You also, you helped them. If there right. was a spider there, I yes. would want to know. <laughs> yes. And then the, the last one I will go with. So my fourth pick to close out the draft is I had, I've, ooh, I'm in the conversation. Oh, I'm so sorry. I have to take this phone call really quick oh. and I need to remove myself. And then of course I'm talking, hello, <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear you. Very nice. Very yes. nice. Just excuse yourself for a quick phone call. And then, <laughs> oh, <laughs> spam. Excuse me one second. <laughs> I just I gotta be right back. All right. My final pick. Huh? They won't stop calling me. <laughs> I think I'm going to go with the, and I don't know if anybody's ever pulled this off. I think it's very doable, but I'm going to go with the casually opening the window 
to enjoy the breeze. <laughs> oh, I like it. It's an, What a nice yeah. evening. Can I would we- love to see what that breeze feels like on my back. <laughs> I love the I love the wind in, on my neck. Yeah, and can the, I sit on the windowsill? Just, just do some calisthenics right next to the That's open right. window. Yeah, the casually get, opening a window. Let's get a deep hamstring stretch. Yeah. That's very I'm going nice. to climb right out of this thing. <laughs> oh, I'm stuck. My butt is hanging out. Someone help me back. My butt has fallen out the window. Yeah. All right. Um, look, oh. this one only works in a room of... Two or more other people. If it's just two, you're it, in trouble. You're in trouble. Hold on, hold on. Oh, so you need you need okay. you need a room full of three or more. Got it. In my head, I thought you said it works with two or more, as in as if you have to cover up your farts when you're in a room alone. Yes. Look, if you want to trick yourself and have no idea that you farted, here's the ten step process. Um, no, this one is just this is a classic. It's a misdirection. Okay. And you're upset about it. Oh. It's gross. Who farted? Oh, and you yeah. jet. Yep. You get yep. out of there. Yeah. You got you oh, you oh, that is foul. How many, Smelted delta. How many times in your life has somebody brought up that someone farted and it has been you and you know it <laughs> and you have played stupid? Cuz uh, I remember in grade school definitely. Yes. Definitely. And you almost overplay. You oversell. You overact. You're like <laughs> Oh, this is so bad. Who would do such a thing? We're all trying to figure out <laughs> who did it. That's exactly right. Yeah, yeah. It's, when you're young and you don't have the confidence of realizing this, everyone has has a toot yeah. toot every once in a while. Now, see, when I was young, it's certainly, I would be so embarrassed. Yeah. And if someone said, oh, who farted? I'd be looking around with them. Like, I, I want to find what? out. What? Someone farted? Now, if I was in a group and someone said, who farted? And they looked at me, I would be trying to not laugh. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't succeed. They they'd know exactly who farted because wait, who farted? They'd scan the faces of the and one, one person and then it was just cracking up just right in the middle of the crowd. One face is beet red. <laughs> Unbelievable! This has been a spectacular draft. I have uh, a few backups. Uh, yeah, I have some as well. Um, I thought about spritzing. Wait, is my the draft b- over? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow, we did yeah, we it. We did it. I thought about. I know this one is like fighting a smell with a smell. But I'd rather be the guy that burped than the guy that farted. Oh. So I thought you could burp. Okay. I thought you could spritz your butt with some cologne. Yeah. I don't know how that would work. I don't know if that's mixing, like, you know, yes. atom, atom molecules together in a it, bad way. That's like the, the rose smelling poop. And then in the I also bathroom. thought about maybe carrying a kazoo on me at all times. Oh, <laughs> so that's, that's a good that's one. Really you heard this one? Or like a, like a pitch pipe. Yeah. Like you're, you're trying to get the the barber shop a ready. Spike. Like, <laughs> me me me. <laughs> All right, Jason, you have any others? Um, I have a classic that I learned from Mike, which is, does anybody smell popcorn? Well, that's, <laughs> that's, but that, that's it doesn't cover it. No, that's a Co- highlight. Covers the humiliation of it. That's uh, highlighting and making sure that someone notices. Yeah, I have play the drums, which <laughs> you know you can do on anything. Just <laughs> oh, okay. Just. Give That's a, good. Give a good That's rip. Not bad. Give a I good like it. drum roll on your uh, desk. I had uh, crying. <laughs> Just start sobbing. <laughs> That's dangerous. So that might attract some hugs in the middle of the. Mm-hmm. Hey, but it's not. They're Stay not over there. Yeah. I want to be alone. I just thought of something really sad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything else? <laughs> Is that it? That's um, oh, I this, have the squeaky chair. You yeah, know, moving sure. the moving the squeaky chair. I think um, Al's enjoying these very <laughs> much. I hear him much. cackling. My yeah. actual one that I do pretty often is a single lap around the car, <laughs> if, because it always it so happens. Yeah, it's right before I got to get into a car. And I'm trying gotta, to get him out. You gotta, and I know if I get in that car too quick, I'm yep. bringing it with me. You got to cut the trail. Do you? Uh, oh, I'm if, looking at those tires, man. If you're in the car, do you do you let it go, or are you you holding out till you're done with the trip? Is my family in the car? Yeah, then I'm, I'm letting, letting it go. go. <laughs> what did we learn today? Uh, I learned um, about uh, Harry S. S. <laughs> Truman. Truman, one of our great, Inc- incredible, respected president yes. of the United States. So Woodrow States. was the answer, though, right? Well, yes, yes, World War One was I, Woodrow. I, le- I learned the one. It's just one one cheek for the yes. silence. Yeah, yeah. Well, 
with the risk, if you want the hundred percent, probably ninety nine percent. Because I'm sure still, there's, there's still a one percent. There's still chance. a sphincter there. Uh, I learned that Jason is on a water quest right now, and he is not. Oh he shoot! He's not doing very oh, good. No. He filled up this giant water cup and drank not even half of it, except he is, is attempting to chug it before the end of the show. Thank you for tuning in, everyone. Please tell your friends about the podcast. Jason did. He did it. Goodbye. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Spitballers Podcast. I gotta go pee! <laughs> to see what other nonsense the guys are up to, check out spitballerspod.com.